So you just finished EQ in your microphone and you have it sounding mostly how you want, but there's still a frequency that you can't seem to pinpoint or that you just don't like the sound of and you can't get it out of your EQ. In today's video, we're going to show you how to frequency sweep so you can isolate those problem frequencies and remove them from your EQ. Let's get started. So to give you an overview of what frequency sweeping is, is frequency sweeping allows you to boost a certain point that you set on the frequency range. And what it does is it creates a very narrow point and you drag it left and right to isolate the frequency that you, or the sound that you don't like, and then we'll remove it from the EQ. So to do this, the first thing that you need to do is you need to add a band. So you can see right here that it adds one at a thousand Hertz. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to max out the gain on this. So we're going to set this all the way up to 12. Like that and then we're going to max out the Q. So this should go to 9 or 10 sorry and so you'll see now that this point is right at the top and it's a very narrow point but you'll also see that if I let my EQ fall flat there's this little bump down here and what's that what that is doing is it's boosting that frequency. So to isolate the sound that we don't like what we do is we drag that point left and right while talking or you can record a clip of yourself and do this and use the actual recording function built into the Beacon app. So what you'll do is as you're talking, you can click and hold on the number. I find clicking and holding on the number to be a better way to do this. And the reason for that is it only drags across the X axis. Whereas if you grab the point up here and you go left and right, there's a chance you could go down or up, which means you're not getting the same result or the same sound. So I typically click and hold on the number and then I go left and right. And let's just say that the frequency I don't like is right here. What you do then is when you find that frequency is you want to bring the gain all the way down. So I'm going to bring this down to at least negative three. And then just to make it more natural, what you're going to want to do uh, is you're going to want to widen the Q out. So we're going to decrease the Q to make that more wider. And what that's going to allow is that's going to allow for a more natural blend uh, going from point to point so that it's not as harsh and doesn't sound as processed. And there you have it. You now have the ability to sweep your frequency range and find those offending frequencies and remove them from your EQ. It is important to note when using techniques like this not to go overboard. If you start removing too many frequencies, you do run the risk of sounding overprocessed or boxy. And the point of EQing is to enhance what is already there. It's not meant to add qualities to your voice that aren't there. Your voice is uniquely yours and you should always EQ to enhance it as opposed to change it.